Stop, stop, stop. Go, 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 guys. Look what we see today. This one looks like a hawk and has some bird. See all those birds up there? They are so upset. You can see it. He snatched one of the birds. He has them under his, his claws. Upset. They don't seem to be going anywhere. They don't seem to be going anywhere. He got his food. He's happy. He's so happy he got his food. sister took a walk down there because he just moved because I guess we walked we walked too close up on him well we didn't get close up on him I guess it was too close for him and he moved that's how we found out he had a bird on him because at first I thought he might fetch birds out here but my sister was like no 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 he has a bird that's why they're up there making all that noise and they're still swarming around him I don't think he's gonna go anywhere until they leave but wow that's amazing I can get up on him for you guys, but mm. I'm still trying to be careful, guys, because I don't want—I don't know what you know. This is a wild bird now. He still has his bird in his paw, his claws. That's crazy, though. Oh, there you go. He had to wait for them to move a little bit so he can start eating. But this was amazing to catch this. Anybody know what kind of bird that is? We th what do you think that is, sis? I thought it was a hawk. I don't know what kind of bird you think that is. Look at it, sis. It's a camera. Wow, this is amazing, guys. And this is in a small city, guys, in New Jersey. Where we rarely get these type of uh, animals. We rarely get them here. So this is nice to catch on camera. Oh I'll have to fix it on the camera. That's amazing though. I'm glad I caught this out here. What's he doing? We not coming down there, believe us, we not. Yep. Okay. I'm not sure what kind of bird he plucked out of the sky. I don't know if that was a crow or what. Mama, be careful, mama. See how you looking at her? She just somebody just walked across. I don't think she's paying no attention, but you looked at her. Oh, 
All right, guys, we're going to be looking in the greenhouse soon. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm trying to catch him before he takes flight so you guys can see what he looks like in flight. But he's still picking at whatever he caught. It's so windy out here today. A little chill in the air. Not too bad though, if the wind wasn't going. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to catch him in flight for you guys. Hopefully I can do that. But we are gonna be looking into the greenhouse and see what everything looks like in the back, guys. Of the apartment. Light. He's still out there. As you guys can see, he's still there. Lucking away. So, while we're waiting, I guess, um, everything still looks good. Still looks marvelous. So side shoots are coming off. These kids are always wild. Guys, I want to show y'all. I had blue greens coming. Look at this. Look at that. New greens coming up, but guys, look at that. Perfect. Spinach is still looking good. space looks like in the back i unzip that so you guys i'm gonna go in there so it'll be so hard for me to go in there and open it up but this is what it looks like guys the new improved backyard somewhat of what i'm gonna have but like, i definitely want to put a better greenhouse out here and my thing does not fly the plastic doesn't fly away or off because i have it tucked under and then i have stuff against the greenhouse so it doesn't fly away so that's what she looks like guys Let's go and see her, I'll check her out just in here. Now, there's a difference of being inside with a greenhouse and outside with a greenhouse. Inside, you'll keep more moisture. Like if you're inside with the greenhouse, you'll keep more moisture inside. Well, I notice when I'm out here, it does not keep a lot of moisture. So, these are my banana plants. They're gonna grow back, don't worry about it, guys. The roots are really good. So I'm not, I'm not even too worried about the, the banana plants. Um, I do got to water everything. Things are dying, but that's okay. It's okay. These things will grow back quickly. Well, I'll empty them out. <clears throat> I just wanted to see how they were going to do. And they'll grow back. But my peas are looking good. So, yeah. That's what everything looks like. And then I got my cabbages down here. And they're still doing well. The cabbages. That is the broccoli <coughs> that I got going on. So these are the banana plants. I stuck them in here. I want them to dry out, which they're really doing really good on. They're drying out really good because the roots are really good. So of course, they're gonna grow back resilient. They're gonna be beautiful, guys. I promise you, wait till summertime, get here in the spring, get here and start blooming back. You'll see, guys, what I'm talking about. So in here, my temp is, 59 degrees in here so yeah that's what it looks like i bought some of those um it's not a big greenhouse but it's what i can have and 
where I live at. Okay, guys, in my little space. So, yeah. And then I have my tarp down too, also. I put some tarp down. Okay. And then I have these right here to like more secure to let me know something. These are new because if they move, they won't put it back. So yeah, I gotta fix that. So nothing has been in there so i'm glad for that i mean this is what it should look like guys like i said everything is growing out nicely bud wise and everything now if i lived in the southern areas i'd probably be having some type of more blooms on these but that's okay i'm in the colder climate so what can you do but when they grow our baby, I'm going to tell you, they're going to be beautiful. So, and then you see my little stash of other things here. This cage here, I'm going to put a uh, whole thing in there and just let it curl up in there. And then on this side here, guys, this side here, I'm going to put my watermelon. So my watermelon can come all the way out from here. So my watermelon is going to be in this area here. All right? I want to travel all the way out to here. So yeah, my watermelon is going to be in that area. And then we're going to fix this. I think we're going to either take it down and fix it with some more of these gates. That one right there. I have a couple more of these gates. So I'm going to fix that all the way around. And I'm going to bring it all the way around. About right here. sweat in there you can see that that's not water on top of the sweat so that's awesome so yeah marvelous everything looks good my big daddy back there 